hey, you're an IT guy, I'm an IT guy. Now, surely there's one feature in Microsoft 365 that just, you need to ask why on earth do they do that? For me, it's the E5 security feature customer lockbox. But what is it and how it works, that's what I'm gonna talk about today. So you better stay tuned. So here's the deal. I'm going through all the features for Microsoft 365 and I'm kind of thinking, you know, uh, is there a video that I've not really done on a particular topic? And I thought, uh, customer lockbox. So, but the problem with the customer lockbox is it's only available with an E5 subscription. Now, and, and you think, okay, well, first of all, what is it? And my argument is, why doesn't everybody have this feature? Um, it's such an important security feature. So if I could start a poll that says, come on, Microsoft, you've got to include this in everybody's subscription, this would definitely be the feature that I would include, okay? So uh, I've got a little demo, first of all, and it's gonna show you what it is, and then we'll come back and I'll see if you agree with me or not. All right, take a look. So the concept is simple. When you make a call for support with Microsoft Engineering, what happens is the call goes through to Microsoft, the engineer helps you, and you get the call sorted out. But with Customer Lockbox, things are a little bit different. What happens is, it first of all, because you're using the Customer Lockbox system, the request goes through to the Microsoft Engineer, who must then get permission before entering the lockbox system. Uh, and that permission needs to be authorized by his manager. Once his manager has authorized it, it then comes back to an approver in your organization. Now, in Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure, there is a special admin role called the customer lockbox admin role. And anybody who's got that role can then approve it. But the fact is that approval must be given. Then what happens is the engineer will have just-in-time access, or JIT, with just enough administration to help you. And the most important aspect of this feature is that when the engineer finishes the call, he ends his ticket and that's it. He loses access to your account. And that's the key thing behind Customer Lockbox. So let's take a look at it in operation. So here I am in Microsoft 365, and normally to assist a user, um, for, certainly for a support call anyway, you would come down to the headset here, go into support, and simply put in a new support request. Well, actually, you'll notice that we have something here called the Customer Lockbox Request. So if you've got an E5 license, as I said, the engineer will not be able to help you unless the call goes through the Customer Lockbox system. And this provides an additional layer of security, providing just enough access, just in time. So how do we set this little miracle up, I hear you say? Well, it's very, very simple. You simply go into organizational settings, and in organizational settings, we go into security and privacy, and we have our customer lockbox here. And you need to switch it on. So by default, it's actually off, but you need to switch it on. And as it says here, require approval for all data access requests. This is such an important security feature I can't think for the life of me why Microsoft only have this on E5 subscriptions, especially with things like GDPR and various privacy regulations around the world. Um, so that's the first thing. So you need to switch it on there. Now, the next thing that you need to do, of course, is provide users with uh, the rights to actually do that. And for that, you simply come down here into RBAC or role-based admin control. And if you scroll down, you can see, sure enough, we have a role here called the Customer Lockbox Access Approver. 
and I can simply add my users, it might be a support team and so on, who I want to give access to that. So now that I've clicked my checkbox and I've now added my users uh, into that particular role, whenever my users or anybody requires help and they contact Microsoft, the lockbox will then kick in. And the key thing about the support page here as well is that any lockbox requests will come in here. All right. So a super easy, simple feature, but such an important one. So I, and I think it's if you're a very large organization or you're dealing with very sensitive information, then this feature is an absolute must. So there you have it. Super quick and super easy. The customer lockbox access approver. Such an important security feature in Microsoft 365. And it's amazing how many people who have got that uh, E5 subscription don't even know it's there. That's what it's for. Thanks very much. I appreciate you dropping by. If you've enjoyed the video, of course, bump the like button. It makes a difference. And if you've not subscribed, we'd love to have you on board. So go ahead and hit that too. I'm Andy Malone. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.